Let's go. My personal engagement with the citizens has been door to door, just like uh, a lot of the other, all the other candidates have said so far. Uh, I think a personal engagement with the citizens is probably the best opportunity you are going to have as a public servant to be able to not only convey your message of what your vision is, what you're trying to do productively, but also get their insight, get their input. We have a lot of smart people who live in our town. We have a lot of, a lot of people that love our town and want the best for it. So having that personal engagement. On top of that, I've also been using um, a social media page that I created for my campaign specifically so people can reach out to me directly if I don't have the opportunity to talk to them, as well as um, using, using other things in the work to work direct correspondence. But I think the personal engagement that you can have with the citizen is so not only can you convey your message to them, but they can also give you the input and also the solutions that you're going to need as a task person to come up against these challenges.
saved for our future. I think you can transfer that to a city as well. And if you live by those basic tenets, you can be successful. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is what is my why? Go back to why am I doing this? I sit at my kitchen table every day. I see horses frolicking. I hear the cows as they're getting ready to eat. That is why. I want to keep McClendentism like that. I think I can be successful in doing that. We, we have a wonderful community, as we have all said, and I think we just need to get back to knowing our neighbors and being civil to each other. Civility starts at the top. We have to give our mayor back his balance. Of, we have to reestablish the balance of power between the city and the city council. And we have to go back to the basic tenets of our democracy. So that's why I'm running, to get things back on track, keep McClendentism with the wide open spaces, and manage a budget like it was my own checking and savings account. Thank you. For some reason, there has been a scare tactic in order to gain your vote. Why would you want a council that bullies or manipulates you? As we've heard from other um, citizens, that's not what they want. They want a council that wants to work for them and with them. I feel that William, Lorna, and myself work well together and have similar views. We have no agenda other than to keep Clint and Chisholm a wonderful and prideful place to live. As a citizen, our homes are our biggest asset, and we want to pretend to preserve what we have worked so hard for. Not sticking to our budget puts us in jeopardy of losing the equity in our homes. Realtors don't want to send their clients to our area that is struggling. As we've knocked on doors and spoken to citizens and make concern of civility, they just want us to be positive and work towards bringing the community back together again. I think I'm the better candidate to do that. Um, so I would like to end with this experience has been a roller coaster ride for me. I've had the chance of learning things about myself that I didn't even know I had in me. I've also learned how proud my family is of me and stepping out to do the right thing for citizens of the <coughs> I've met people I possibly would have never been able to meet. And of those people, I can see them as lifelong friends. I've been, I've been nervous, I've just been scared, happy, and at times thought, what the heck have I got myself into? I believe God has put us in, God puts us in positions and to help us grow. I also hope, uh, I just hope that the citizens of Clinton and give me the chance to help our city grow into what they want. Together, we are stronger. Clinton is strong. I'm going to wrap up with uh, three foolish allies uh, participating in city government for the last two years. We've, excuse me, I've rewrote the city investment policy so that our funds would be invested and earn multiple times more interest than what they had ever in the past. We changed our fee schedule so that it was no longer a private developer. It actually put the burden on developer rather than the individual citizen. I led the uh, resolution to the fees of our 2035 CO bond that um, was used to build our city hall and that actually saved approximately $95,000 to the taxpayer. I led the same action this year to the fees a portion of the 2034 bond when that's estimated to save another $50,000. Uh, we changed the code of ordinances to uh, excuse me, to require that the city issue uh, RFQs for new contracts for all of our consultants so that we maintain the best qualified people rather than sticking with all of those that are Good old boy uh, neighborhood. Uh, we've lowered the tax rate in 2017 to 15 cents per hundred, the lowest in Rockwell 
Ottawa County. We did the same in 2018. We allowed the citizens to vote for the five percent or five half percent increase in sales tax, and we have adopted balanced budgets, budgets both in 2017-18 and 2018-19. The climate just was growing. It's growing fast. Currently, our largest development on the market is just about halfway through the through its production phase. Um, along with our 205 board, we have lots of expansions in there. What I want to do is I want to bring positive economic development into the city so that way it's managed correctly. So that way things don't blow out of proportion to what our citizens want. I also want to make sure that we are fiscally responsible with our taxes. I want to make sure that the budget is not only refined, but it's also broken down and itemized in a way that makes sense so that way any person that can go onto our city website can see that budget and understand it completely. I also want to make sure that when we have this economic growth, I want to invite the citizens to be part of the process. We have a lot of wonderful people with a lot of great ideas. So we're inviting as many citizens for economic boards, for PNCs, and getting them actively involved in the government, getting them actively involved, involved in the city council is going to mean a lot for the city. As well as not only making them feel like they're included in the process, but also making sure that the results are not going to be something that everybody wants. Now I'd like to thank all of you out here right now today for coming out to this event for this for, for this Easter weekend. I greatly appreciate it. My website address is Baltimore for transparency.com. For is spelled out as F O R. Um, I did not um, create a campaign that tried uh, to man manipulate people to believe that the city city council is under investigation by the Texas Rangers. You can find out proof from there on what candidates it's supported. And as far as I would never tell another uh, anybody on the city council or even the mayor to change a person's password that's on the city council so that they cannot communicate with constituents like another candidate that did on this. As far as what I have accomplished, I really truly believe that um, I, I have brought solutions such as 22% reduction in sewage rates for uh, Senator Bernie that is as a citizen. And I have um, looked at uh, construction time between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., no holidays. That was as a citizen. I have put um, my efforts to look at what's best for those to benefit the entire city. And as far as um, going forward, I would like to be able to make sure that we're working with our, our, our staff to understand that what's, what's going on with our budget, to work with our budget. I was also, as a city council member, I found grant money, FEMA grant money. I have uh, supplied information to our city staff to be able to make sure that we can be able to accomplish uh, you know, money to be able to take care of our uh, future fire department and CFR. And, We've been successful at that. It's going great. There's no more scare tactics that we are not having service. We do have service 24 7. And so I thank you so much. I hope that you um, will consider me and uh, as a uh, knowing that I have um, done the due diligence of being a volunteer. Uh, I hope that I earned your vote and I hope that I earned your support. Thank you, ma'am. Let's go ahead and uh, give all those candidates. <laughs>
100,000 people called Rockwall County home. By the time we get to build out, we'll be close to 300,000 folks that will end up in North Texas. Excuse me, in Rockwall County. So think about the work that we've got ahead of us right now as far as infrastructure is concerned, skills that, as far as the candidates are concerned, I wrote down uh, notes uh, throughout uh, uh, each one of the uh, uh, questions, or throughout each one of the presentations from the candidates that were running from racist relationships with citizens, relationships uh, with the other entities, Relationships among council, relationships with our staff, they're extremely important. I can't emphasize how important that is. It doesn't mean that we have to agree on everything. In fact, we thought we should. There's no question about that. As we execute a vision, I'm going to tell you something. I cannot emphasize how important it is to get to work with the other elected officials, the ones that you work with, as far as your mayors, your councils, and the city staffs, those are extremely important. But it is extremely important to have a relationship with the county have relationships with the state uh, elected officials as well as the federal officials. I can't emphasize how important that is. Uh, the things that folks mentioned, leadership is a given. It's a given. Leadership is extremely important experience. It doesn't have to mean that you serve when you reach out to run for a city council hall. It doesn't mean that you have to have, served, uh, have experience as far as the uh, uh, you know, elected official is concerned, which I think experience is very, very important. I've been able to uh, as far as uh, your service in the community, being involved, and of course, as far as business experience is concerned. Some of the things that stood out that were absolutely true as far as uh, uh, getting prepared for a county or for this growth in each and every one of our cities infrastructure, economic development, a plan and standards, comprehensive plans and zoning, uh, open space is extremely, extremely important. Obviously, uh, preparation for public safety, these things matter. Uh, so, with all that being said, as I said at the beginning, I have tremendous respect for the decisions that are made and the need to vote as far as national elections are concerned. I have tremendous respect for voting in statewide elections. They're in session right now. Those decisions, those guys, those ladies and gentlemen down there making are going to have an impact on us. The folks had to serve as a city council member, had to serve as the mayor of the city of Rockwell, and had to serve as a county judge in Rockwell County. I will promise you what those decisions matter in D.C. They matter in Austin. The decisions that impact you on a day-to-day -day basis are made at the central office of the ISD. They're made at City Hall in each and one of our communities. And they're made at the courthouse in Rockwell County. Most important message, get out and vote. There's that early vote schedule. Make sure, again, uh, he, uh, City Hall, Fenton City Hall, and Chisholm City Hall, as well as City Hall and Rowlett. Again, as we heard the candidates from uh, earlier from Rowlett. I want to thank each and every one of you candidates that are still here with us now. I want to thank you guys at the Glitches for taking time out of a busy weekend to come spend with us and talk a little bit about your ideas. And I want to thank you again, every one of you, for attending. And I want to turn it over to our county chief, Alan Byrne. Thank you. All of the candidates are coming to our forum. I hope you enjoyed it and will go home with new ideas and have made up your mind who you, which way you want your city to go. And this is important, as David said, because it impacts you daily. So be sure and vote in this election, because I get so concerned about the low turnout for the city elections and county elections, because we are, every day, that's our conversation. Is our taxes and who did this and who did that? And you just stay home and not vote. Please get out of the. Thank you.